9207 Fort Foot Road. Little corner lot house. It's a nice neighborhood here. Pretty quiet, nice and clean. House is in pretty good shape overall. Got a big front yard here. Roof looks pretty good. Chimney looks good. Front porch looks good. Uh, siding looks fine. It's uh, but it's it is wood siding. Wood siding looks like it's got a few coats of paint on there, but it looks like it's all in good condition. Um, we got newer vinyl windows all around, all in great shape. Here's the gas meter here, looking a little bit old, but also looks fine. Tree stump in the yard here. Um, so, out back we have a bit of uh, gravel parking. There's actually a good amount of space to park here, a few cars. Probably like four or five cars you could put there. Uh, back of the roof looks good. This looks like the older portion of the house, and this is a small add-on with uh, some extra bedrooms there, it looks like. Um, there's a river right down there. You can almost see it through the trees, so the water is very close by. Uh, deck looks like it's in pretty good shape. The roof on this back portion also looks good. Um, this looks like vinyl siding on the back portion there. There's a hot tub on the deck. Looks like it's in good shape also. You see a good, um, good backyard space as well. And the shed back there. And we have a side door entrance here and also back around to the back door or back uh, porch. Um, HVAC looks fairly new. Looks like it's in very good shape. Electric meter all looks good there. All the gutters and downspouts look like they're all in place. They all look good. So inside of the house is also in very good shape. Uh, we got this um, pretty open living room, kitchen area. The kitchen's right there, so this is all pretty open feeling. Good ceiling height, uh, drywall trim. Everything looks good in here. You can see the windows. Very good shape. A uh, fireplace, real fireplace on the front of the house here. Looks good. Um, off to the right here. So the layout, yeah, we have this main room here with the kitchen, two bedrooms on the back, a bathroom behind this kitchen wall, and then over here another uh, study or bedroom area with a half bath in the corner, and then upstairs we have an additional bedroom, and the basement's off to the side, the stairs. So this front room here, good shape, walls look great, good ceiling height, uh, wood on the floor. We have, we have a real, real wood on the floor all throughout here, and it all looks like it's in good shape. Trim walls, windows look great. Doors look good. Here's the half bath. Walls look good, toilets good, sink cabinets good. Ceramic tile on the floor. <clears throat> Here's the kitchen. Kitchen looks good. Cabinets look good. Ceramic tile on the floor in the kitchen here. Kitchen's a good size too. It's a pretty good size. All that looks good in there. And back through this little hallway here. Over here we have um, the back door out to the back porch. Uh, washing hookup. Stuff, washer dryers right here in this closet hallway and we got another closet storage there 
And then the two bedrooms on the back of the house. And this is the bathroom here. Sink cabinet looks great. Ceramic tiles on the floor, ceramic tiles on the wall, and ceramic tiles around the shower. Also, all the tile looks like it's in good shape. Shower, shower fixtures, door, all looks like it's pretty good. And here's the two bedrooms here. Um, nice and bright. We got the blinds closed right now, but open them up and it's very nice and uh, plenty of daylight in here. These two big bay windows. Uh, you can see the walls kind of taper up, so it's very tall up at that spot there. Less than plenty of light. Walls are good. Wood on the floor. Trim looks good. And then this uh, larger bedroom here, same deal with uh, windows on the back looking out onto the back porch and then uh, three large windows up at the top of the uh, tall ceiling there. Really lets in a lot of light. All the walls are good. Wood on the floor, trim, doors look fine. Oh, there's a, a, another window here, so very uh, lots of uh, natural light in the house here. Upstairs we have a converted attic bedroom. Good uh, floor space in here, but the ceiling it's not the tallest. It's uh it's six foot six at the peak here. The floor is just slightly uneven, not very much, just, just a little bit. Storage space in there. Vinyl windows up on the top here also. And then this is the side door on the house. It goes out to the porch there. And then the stairs down to the basement. She said it was a separate apartment at one point. Oh, also she said, or actually a neighbor told me that um, there is a small leak coming from right there, from the outside, coming, looks like it's coming through right there. I don't see any water spots, so I don't really think it's too bad. Um, there is a little bit of water damage down there, just, just very slight next to the door here, so that doesn't look like a, a big issue, but just make you aware of it. So um, in the basement here, we have this main room here, then a smaller kind of study room. Over here, we have a bathroom, kitchen, and then the utilities in the back corner behind these walls. Um, good ceiling height down here. It is seven foot nine. Seven foot nine ceiling height down here, so, yep. A little bit of extra plaster on the uh, ceiling, and this is all drywall. Over here we have a full bath. Um, shower is plastic one one or uh, yeah, plastic shower here. Looks like it's in good shape. There's just some boxes and stuff in here, but the shower itself all looks pretty clean. Looks good. Over here, sink cabinet, toilet, and in the back, the electric box. I uh, can't really tell how many amps it is. It's a 50 on there. I don't know if it's split because of the separate apartments or what, but it looks like it's in good shape. It's all hooked up and everything. Sump pump down here. Alarm system. And over here would have been the small kitchen. These cabinets are a little bit plain, but they're in good shape. Stuff looks good. Uh, this is the, I think she said this is the water main here. And she, I believe she said she turned off the water main. And maybe, maybe some storage in there also. All looks good in there. And then here's the small kind of study, kind of office room. Walls look good, same ceiling height. 
Um, so I could see if you took out this wall right here, this small skinny wall, you could have this entire basement as one room since you got the door there. You could have this entire basement as a bedroom with a full bath. Be pretty good. Or you could keep it this main room and then this small study. This one does not have a closet though. Unless you want to call this, I mean, I guess this could be a closet. You could put a clothes rack in there. Um, utilities look great. Looks like it was installed in 05 and it's nice and shiny still. It's very clean. Really looks like it's in good, good condition. I can't believe that was uh, an 05. It really looks fine. And then the water heater also looks great. 11, looks like 2011. Everything's hooked up. All the coppers back there for the uh, uh, kitchen. Yeah. Looks great all around. Alright, that's it.